Yumi becomes a parent. Wang Lianfang has not come to Yu Qing's for some days. Although time is not long, the wind and clouds have changed after all. Wang Lianfang drank wine mildly at noon until two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Wang Lianfang stood up and decided to dredge up at Yu Qing's again before leaving home. If other women are still with him now, Wang Lianfang has no idea in his heart. However, Yu Qing's is Wang Lianfang's own land, so he can at least enjoy the dumb blessing of Yu Qing. Wang Lianfang pushed open the door of Yu Qing's house. Yu Qing's was snacking, chewing dried radish. Yu Qing's turned her back and smelled Wang Lianfang's alcohol breath. Wang Lianfang said loudly, Fen Xiang, you're all I have now. Although the words are bleak, in the sight of Yu Qing's, they still have a few touches and have a little warmth. Wang Lianfang said, Fen Xiang, next time I come back, you can call me Lacquer Wang. Yu Qing's turned her face. Wang Lianfang's face has a lot of drunkenness, especially disheveled. Yu Qing's wanted to comfort him with a few words, but did not know where to start. Although Qin Hongxia's matter hurt her heart, in the end, she still could not bear to see Wang Lianfang this downcast look. Of course, Yu Qing's knew what he had come to do. If she was not pregnant, Yu Qing's would have accompanied him to bed for a break. But not now, absolutely not. Yu Qing's said with a straight face, Lianfang, let's not do that. You'd better go out. Wang Lianfang, however, did not hear it, directly went into the west room, unbuttoning alone, taking off alone, going to bed alone. Waiting for a long time, Wang Lianfang said, Hey! Waiting for a long time again, Wang Lianfang said, Hello! Wang Lianfang has not been able to hear the movement, so he had to carry his pants to the hall to look for her. Yu Jing's was long gone. Wang Lianfang never expected such a result. Two hands carrying pans was also sober. The heart rolled with the coldness of the world. Wang Lianfang thought, well, you set up the Pai Fang even with me, neither earlier nor later, but in this time to set up. You were good. Wang Lianfang sneered and said to himself, what a son of a bitch. Back to the west room, once again stripped naked. Wang Lianfang climbed back in bed and suddenly opened his voice. Wang Lianfang roared the model theater. It was the shark creek. Wang Lianfang laid in bed and played the roles of Sister A Qing, Hu Chuan Kui, and Diao De Yi all by himself. His voice was so big and thick, but he actually pinched his voice to be so sharp and thin when he played Sister A Qing, until the very high pinch when he couldn't climb any higher, and then he reverted to Hu Chuan Kui's voice. Wang Lianfang singing sounded throughout the village, and all the people heard it, but none of them came over, as if no one had heard it. Wang Lianfang carried the scene wisdom fight to Yu Qing's bed as it was, word for word, not missing a word. After singing, Wang Lianfang struck gongs and drums with his mouth for a while, put on his clothes, and left. In fact, Yu Qing's didn't go anywhere. She went into the kitchen and stood behind the kitchen door. Yu Qing's could never have imagined that Wang Lianfang would do this, and she was scared out of her wits. A little calm down, Yu Qing swelled up a bone-deep sadness, only felt that her half-year good time was given to a dog. The hands and feet of Yu Qing went cold together. She touched her abdomen and couldn't wait to see her fingers to dig out the thing in her belly. But she couldn't. Yu Qing's trembled. She lowered her head, looked at her stomach, and said to her stomach, Bastard, bastard, bastard! What a bastard, huh? Wang Lianfang was 42 years old when he went out to learn his trade. The entire family was actually handed over to Yumi. It's not easy to be a parent. Without being a family host, 
one does not know the expense of firewood and rice. Yu Mi is now considered to know the power of this saying. Being a family host is difficult in the big places, but it is also difficult in the small ones. The small place is trivial, pestering, piecemeal, like chicken feathers. But you cannot escape from a single one. You have to face to face, even from a tiny thing. You cannot dust the butt to turn around and go away. Yu Ye, the little thing of virtue age of only eleven, smashed a piece of glass just a few days ago in school. The teacher had to call the parents. And now she scattered her classmates' ink bottle and splashed people's face black. The teacher had to call the parents again. Yu Ye looks little movement with a slow mouth, but her hands and feet are harsh, and she has the characteristics of a naughty boy. If this kind of thing were in the past, the teachers would have looked at Yu Ye in the spirit of two-way street. Now it's a bit hard to do. After all. Teachers had their own difficulties. Yu Mi was invited to the school as a parent. For the first time, Yu Mi didn't say anything; just kept nodding. Went home, grabbed the ten eggs, and put them on the teacher's desk. The teacher invited Yu Mi for the second time. After hearing, Yu Mi lifted Yu Ye's ear all the way to the office and gave Yu Ye a slap in front of the teachers. Yu Mi's shot was very heavy, and Yu Ye's symmetrical face immediately became asymmetrical. This time, Yu Mi did not carry the eggs to school, but drove the Ukrainian wet pig from the pig pen. The thing got serious, so the principal had no choice but to step in. The principal was Wang Lianfang's friend for many years. He looked at the teacher and then at Yu Mi, but couldn't say anything to either side. The principal had no choice but to look at the pig, laugh, and say, "Yu Mi, what are you doing? Having a PE class for the pig?" He pouted and asked the worker to drive the Ukrainian pig back. Seeing the amiable look of the principal, Yu Mi became polite and said, "When the pig is killed, I'll treat Uncle with the liver." The principal said slowly, "How can that be done?" Yu Mi said. Why can't it be done? The teacher can eat eggs. Why can't the principal eat pork liver? As soon as the words came out, the eyes of Yu Ye's teacher suddenly turned into eggs, and her face had already turned into pig liver. As soon as Yu Mi arrived home, she spread out the photograms of letter paper. She wanted to tell Pang Guoliang her full grimaces. All Yu Mi's hopes now lie with Pang Guoliang. Yu Mi did not tell Peng Guoliang about the accident of her family, and Yu Mi would not tell Peng Guoliang a word about that matter. Yu Mi cannot let Peng Guoliang look down on this family. There can't be any mistakes in this. As long as Guoliang succeeds in the army, her family will be able to start over again. Yu Mi said to the letter, "Guoliang, you have to get promoted." Yu Mi looked at it and felt that this was too explicit. And inappropriate, Yu Mi tore up the letter and gave out thousands of exhortations and instructions, which finally turned into this sentence: "Guoliang, listen to the leader and ask for progress."